Jonathan invented a time travel device. He went way back in time, to the Middle Ages. Well, that's awesome. After the first teleport, the device fizzed, popped, and was basically totally busted. Ow. Jonathan mm -hmm. decided to become a knight. Mm -hmm. He used his 2020 knowledge, and everyone thought he was a genius. Ooh. Soon a powerful king hired him, and gave him the most difficult missions. Jonathan had to get rid of a water dragon. The dragon was a big problem for the people of the kingdom. I mean, you never meet a friendly dragon, do you? The dragon lived in a cave, typical. To get into the cave, Jonathan had to choose the right door. Behind the first door was a hungry boa constrictor that could squeeze a human into mush. Behind the second door were hundreds of poisonous spiders that could kill a man with a single bite. Behind the third door was poisonous gas. Which door should he choose? Love the shoes, dude. The third door is not an option. There's nothing to protect him against toxic gas. The second door is pretty bad too. The spiders can crawl in the slits in his armor. The knight chose the first door. His steel plate armor should protect him from the boa. Steel holds its shape under pressure. Jonathan got in the cave and... Well, let's just say the dragon won't be a problem anymore. After that, he returned to the kingdom. The king was glad that his best knight had completed the task. With the shades, nice. Unfortunately, while Jonathan was away, an evil sorcerer kidnapped the king's daughter. She was trapped in a tower. The king asked the knight to return his daughter. Man, this guy doesn't get a lot of time off. Jonathan agreed, but he needed a map first. His friend said he would help him. If Jonathan could solve a riddle. Jonathan had to get a coin out of a bottle. The conditions were the following. He couldn't pull out the cork or break the bottle. Jonathan managed to do it. And how? Don't break the bottle. Don't break the bottle. Don't break the bottle. Jonathan pushed the cork into the bottle and took the coin out. The knight got the map and went to look for the princess. According to the map, Jonathan had to cross a volcanic island. Where on earth is he? Jonathan was on the volcanic island when he heard a huge rumble. Yup, you guessed it. Eruption. Jonathan ran, but there was a huge cliff in his way with a river pew, like a hundred meters below it. He saw three bridges in front of him. The first rope bridge had two ropes for arms and one rope for legs. It was on fire because of the liquid hot magma. The second bridge was wooden, but there was a huge bear on it. The third bridge was made of stone, but it had been damaged by the volcano. It might collapse at any moment. Uh, Jonathan managed to get across the cliff. Why is there never just a normal bridge? What bridge did he choose? He chose the first bridge. Not all the ropes were burnt. So Jonathan managed to ninja it over the cliff. He made it, all right. That was intense, okay, no time to waste. According to the map, there should be a tunnel up ahead. There was a small house near the tunnel entrance. Jonathan decided to find out who lived there. Like he needs any more problems, am I right? There was a witch in the house. She was making a potion. The knight decided to take her hostage. Jonathan had no idea what was in the tunnel. He might need a witch's skills. There were three traps at the entrance. Sharp swords sticking out of the walls. A den of crocodiles, not so good. And a huge fire. I wanna go home. 
I want to finish my potion. I was busy working when you kidnapped me. So rude. Please let me go. Okay, but help me first. Okay, whatever, pretty boy. I can make you fly. I can turn you into a ghost. And I can make you smaller. He could use a different spell for each trap. Awesome. What spell should he use and for which traps? He can shrink down in size and pass through no problem. He can fly over them. Oh, oh he's gonna make it. He's not gonna make it. He made it. Oh. Ghosts can pass through fire without getting burnt. Huh. I didn't know that. Jonathan passed all three traps and let the witch go. The witch returned home to brew her potion. And the knight continued his journey. Jonathan had been walking for three days and he finally reached the tower. Success! It was really dark and cloudy. Super spooky. He came up to the castle. Three roads appeared in front of him, leading to the gate. The first was a canal of water with piranhas in it. He was pretty sure there were also the remains of some unlucky knights floating around in there. Gross. The second was covered with flames. That's obviously bad. Plus, he already freed the witch, so she can't help him anymore. The third was covered with the spikes of a poisonous plant. And Jonathan didn't have the antidote. Man, he really shouldn't have let that witch go. Which way should he choose? The second one. It was dark and cloudy, remember? So he could just wait for some rain to put out the flames. Jonathan entered the castle and set the princess free. She was so happy to see her knight. It was like so boring in that tower. Time to head back to the kingdom. The evil sorcerer sensed that a knight was going to take his princess away. No way, that was his prisoner. When Jonathan and the princess went downstairs, they came upon three doors. Jonathan opened every door. But he couldn't see anything. There was an inscription on the wall. There is no air behind one of the doors. All who enter will suffocate. Behind another door is a poisonous gas that turns everything into stone. Which door should they choose? Take the torch from the wall and toss it through the doorway. If the torch turns to stone, don't go in. If the flame goes out, there's no air, also don't go in. Two torches for two tries. Not so bad after all. Jonathan and the princess got out of the tower. The sorcerer was waiting for them. Jonathan was ready to get home and have some time off. So he went off on the sorcerer and kicked his... Oh, sorry, I got carried away. Jonathan was ready to get home and have some time off. When the knight brought the princess home, uh-oh, the king asked if they wanted to get married. They did, and everyone was happy. Jonathan decided not to go back to the future and stay in the kingdom. Plus, his time machine was busted anyway, right? How would you feel about living just one day in the Middle Ages? Tell me in the comments.